Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. We have a dragon block staff to find, and a forest of winglies to find, but I want to make a little detour first. So there's going to be quite a bit going on in this episode. Not really so much combat. That'll be for next episode. Okay guys, remember this intersection? This intersection here where we found Tail? Well, I'm going to be coming back here off screen, so remember this location. And this is how you get to Neat. There's literally no other branching paths on this... on here. It's just Neat and that's it. And literally the only thing to do here is get that one Stardust I pointed out in the flashback. There's no shops. I don't even think there are any NPCs here, just... Just this Stardust. There we go. It's a little hard to find the point that you can examine the lamp at. See? No one here. Well, that's literally examining the grave and examining that lamp post. That's all you can do in me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys back at that intersection I was talking about. Alright, we're back. I have reached the intersection of the Evergreen Forest again, and this is where the entrance to the Forest of Wingleys is. even though it's a dead end. Oh wait, the Wingleys had all kinds of magic. So of course it would be hidden. Um, because humans and Wingleys hated each other? Oh, so other Wingleys do exist, besides Lennis. Hey guys, who didn't see this coming at all? <laughs> this theme is awesome too. Totally fits the character. What is she, a dancer? Huh? What's that all about? Yeah, how did you guys not notice during the entire boss fight that Lennis was a wingly? Maru? Is there something you don't... Is there something you're not telling us, Maru?
And they act all surprised that she's been hinting at this the entire game. Well. Yay, now I can stop beating around the bush about Maru being a Wingly. And I get into a battle two steps before the entrance to the Wingly Forest. Absolutely. Uh, you would die. Probably not. If you guys need to cooperate with humans to defeat the dragon, why aren't you embracing these humans with open arms? Especially when one of your own kind is... Yeah. Uh, I don't think that would be a good idea. Oh, those guys. If I remember, the Brothers Bardell are fairly old Winglies, and Winglies are basically this, this game's version of elves. They live hundreds of years. Humans! I guess it had been so long since, uh, since Winglies had seen humans that, uh, they didn't really understand what uh, what humans looked like. And just like in Deningrad, there's actually plenty to do here. There's a couple Stardusts that I want to grab. Yeah, I don't know how you would sleep in a bed like that. That seems really cramped. It's definitely the case in Naya, where where the elves and the humans were definitely opposed to each other. Oh, let's say hi to Maru's folks. Just like there are bad winglies, there are good humans. Uh, because the dragon is trying to destroy human cities now? <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Oh, wait. And like I was saying before, this is easily my favorite town music in the game. As a matter of fact, uh... As a matter of fact, though, this piece, uh, this piece of music, and just the Winglies in general, uh, were really my inspiration for creating Aaron. If, if people who know me a little bit more closely 
are familiar with this character. I was thinking about creating Eren as uh, a pawn in Dragon's Dogma, but... But I decided against that and just went with an old standby that I've had around since, uh, 2004. You guys will see, you guys will see if that video hasn't gone up already. Uh, yeah, I think we want to take the right teleporter first. Not what I was planning. If you check this pillar over here, there's a stardust. But this is the way that goes on farther up the forest of Wingleys. And I don't want to go that way quite yet because there's actually an item shop here. And even a weapon shop, and I want to check them both out. Something I need to do before heading into the next area is I need to clean up my inventory. The other Stardust is in Waraha's house. So the Winklies are holed up in this forest because they're... because they're afraid of stupid, annoying humans. So apparently... What was I saying? Yeah, Maru looks like she's 15 or 16, but because she's wingly, she's got to be at least 30 or 40 years old. It never... I don't think it's ever specified how old Maru is, and you're not supposed to ask a woman her age anyway. But Wingly's... Wingly's understand the emotion of love, just like humans. Hey, Wingly's, there's a lot more in common that you have with humans than you think. Stupid rules. And this is why, and this is why in these old 10, like 10,000 year old civilizations, that just coop themselves up. This happens every time. Because, yeah, 10,000 year old absolutes aren't always absolute. And there's a Stardust in here, I believe just in the upper right corner of his house. Yeah, it is. That's Stardust number 40, so the next time we meet Martell, we can claim our fourth reward from her, and it is very powerful. But we won't be able to do that until the next dun until uh, after the next dungeon, I believe. There's a couple shops here I want to check out. Uh, the item shop doesn't have a lot besides the standard amenities, and I need to get rid of some of this crap. I don't think I need this many healing fogs. I'll hold on to three. How many healing breezes do I have? Eight. Um, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I definitely don't need any depetrifiers in this area. Um, I can get rid of that. Now, how many, now how many items are in the next area? I need to check my notes. Not very many, so I'm going to just go ahead and load up on Healing Breezes. Okay, there we go. That should be more than enough. You definitely don't want to underestimate this next area. It is hard! Now there's a weapons vendor over here. Doesn't sell anything particularly particularly awesome. There's a Warhammer for Maru, which is an update. Uh, one thing that I didn't ever buy in my original playthrough and any of my test runs were 
were more spirit cloaks, but given how many enemies use magic towards the end of the game, and how useful the spirit cloak I got has been in, uh, in, uh, you know, the fights with Dole and all that, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and try buying a second spirit cloak. Oh, right, this place. Wee angels! Personally, I'm not a fan of the of the uh, six winged angels of like Zendikar and just those in general. I like the I like the warrior angels with two wings a lot better. One reason I don't like the six winged angels is because the dis is one. Their design seems impractical for flight, and two, it makes a reference to uh, biblical angels, which I don't think fantasy should be making biblical references. Mainly just, mainly just so that there's a much bigger differentiation between religion and fantasy. Yeah, that's why there's no inn in this place, is because there's a magical healing chamber. So there are wing so wait, where was Lennis from, if that's the case, if she wasn't from this forest? Then they're definitely surviving other places, so there's gotta be other wiggly towns. But we're not gonna run into any more wiggly towns on this disc. Those are gonna wait until disc Four. Well, I guess that would change you a lot. Now you're just being racist. Then again, this whole, this whole town is basically racist. Huh. You know what? Then prove it. You want to try that again? If anybody can take care of the Divine Dragon, it's us, not you Winglies who cling to the past of 11,000 years ago, when in reality your power has been declining. bit ambitious. Well, that's really what I just don't understand in, in like video games, in video game worlds, and even in just society in general, is all the racism. I mean, if we're all still humans, then what's the difference in, like, the color of our skin or the color of our hair in this case? And just capabilities. I don't get it. So where's the ancestor again? Oh. surprise me, Rose. Ah, 
there you are, Ancestor Blano. One thing I don't I don't understand in their in their dialogue is why Kongle doesn't get any mention. They just group him with the humans. I'm guessing it's because Kongle's been traveling with humans, so he's associated with them, even though he's not actually human. Uh, that's generally how it works with dragons. Yay! Somebody realizing that the races need to get together to, to uh, solve this issue with the Divine Dragon. It's good that you actually think about the longevity of the species, but we do have one Wingly fighting for us. Well, it's a 10,000-year-old commandment that has... Blotto, you need to get with the times. But you do understand that one of these days they will, they will come together, you know, when the world's at peace. But right now we have a dragon to deal with, and there's a whole bunch of other issues going on in the world as well. Although I could see how hard it would be for him because the humans the humans that are leading Maru are the dragoons, and the Winglies don't know that Maru is a dragoon. Okay. Now one thing you may want to do if you if this is the first time this is the first time you're playing through the game, one thing you may want to do is create a backup save. Because once you enter the next area, you will not be able to return until you defeat the boss. And the boss is very, very difficult. This is why I recommended buying so many healing items. Because you're going to need every last one of them. Yes, the Forbidden Land. That's, that's the next area. And it is hard. Like, not just the bosses. Yes, there's more than one boss there. So, the Forbidden Land... The Forbidden Land Cadessa is the, uh... Yeah, it, apparently, back during the time of the Dragon Campaign, it was the capital of Wingly Society. And now it's more than a... Now it's no more than a ruin. It's never really explained where in endiness this ruin is. Now one thing I find that's really neat is even after even though they say their powers are declining, they still have this kind of magic power. Which I think is pretty awesome. I just can't imagine how much power the Winglies had during the Dragon Campaign. But you know what? I'm kind of running low on time to explore the Forbidden Land. So I'm just going to uh, stop the video here, and we're going to go through the Forbidden Land Cadessa and recover the Dragon Block staff next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. See y'all later.